we just got done talking a little bit, introducing the show, talking about Lamar, talking about John Jones. But now we have to talk about the elephant in the room. And That's I'm not, not talking nice, about myself. No. The GOAT. The man, the myth, the legend, the greatest quarterback of all time. Hey, yo. Daniel Jones was just signed to a four-year, $160 million extension with the New York Giants. I'm sure there's some fancy canoodling around there about signing bonuses, roster bonuses, different stuff. But just breaking down that four-year, $160 million is $40 million a season. So that means Daniel Jones, mid-quarterback. Would you say Jared Goff is better than Daniel Jones? Yeah, you can make the argument for sure. You can make the argument. Yeah. $40 million a year. Derek Carr, would you say at this point in their careers, Jared Goff is better than Derek Carr? You can make the argument, yeah. You can make the argument. $37.5 million a year. Geno Smith, would you say that Jared Goff is better than Geno Smith? You'd win that argument, yeah. You would win that argument. Yeah. That's the one you're like, yeah, he's, he's better than him. Yeah. $35 million a year. Yeah. So Jared Goff is putting it lightly, putting fandom aside, putting gobbler thoughts away. As good, if not better, than all three of these guys. And one of them just got $40 million a year. What does that mean for Jared Goff going forward? What is he asking for now on an open market with his deal? He's only got two years left. So he's going to want to get the extension done after next year. At the latest. What is Jared Goff going to ask for on the market right now? That's People still got to get paid too. So imagine when Joe Burrow signs a $60 million a year contract. When Justin Herbert signs a $60 million a year contract. Obviously, Goff's not up there with those guys. But am I crazy for thinking that he's going to want 45 plus? No, not at all. Daniel Jones has got 40 after one good year. One good year. This guy, they didn't even, put it to you this way. Daniel Jones before this year, Giants had an option to, to have a fifth year option. Yes. They would have had him at probably around like, what, 13 million or mm-hmm. something like that. So, like. Scared. Bad. Yeah, scared to make the commitment to him. Yeah. They declined it. They didn't want to pick up his fifth-year option. Now, with Brian Dabble, the same guy who was part of the camp that made Josh Allen look better than what he was projected as when he was drafted number seven, made Daniel Jones a playoff-winning quarterback. Yeah. And then he got 40 M's after one year. One year. You know what this means for Jared Goff? He's going he's gonna to want 45 plus. And he's mentoring a rookie quarterback for the Detroit Lions this year because ain't no way in hell. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell they about to pay that man. I'm, it was approaching the the wrong side of 30, 45 plus mil a year. That's insane. All right. Deep, 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 deep. What is this? What are we doing? This is, uh, this is okay. Daniel Jones calling Brad Holmes. Okay. Bring, bring. Daniel Jones calling Brad Holmes. Bring. Okay. Or, I'm Jared, Jared Goff calling Brad Jared Holmes. Jared Goff. Okay. okay, okay. Bring. Bring. Man, fuck this mid ass motherfucker one for me, man. Bring. Uh, hey, Jared. Uh, hi, hi, Brad. What's going on, Jared? Uh, you know, I'm just seeing these 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 contracts getting thrown around. Mm-hmm. Um, I know, you know, I'm coming off a pro, pro Bowl Great. season. Oh. Hello? Motherfucker got me fucked up. That's kind of racist. What y'all want with Jared Goff? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy to think that Daniel Jones just got $40 million a year. Are you? Would you be comfortable with Daniel Jones? Jan, would you be comfortable with Daniel Jones being your franchise quarterback? Speak my own language. My jerk off. Yeah, island. <laughs> my, my island, we can do what we want. Would you be comfortable with Daniel Jones being your franchise quarterback? No. Would you be Probably comfortable not. with Geno Smith being your franchise quarterback? No. Would you be comfortable with Derek Carr being your franchise quarterback? More comfortable than the other two, but no. Are you comfortable with Jared Goff being your franchise quarterback? I, we know the answer. Then that. you gotta draft a guy. I, I've, <laughs> I've been saying defense, defense the whole time. Yeah. But after seeing Daniel Jones get forty million dollars, I'm losing my fucking mind, man. What is going on? This is insane. This does not make any logical sense. I understand. It's the market. You gotta pay the market. 
you're better off just getting somebody else. They, they franchise tag Saquon Barkley to sign Daniel Jones to $40 million. What the hell is that? Is that how much of a stranglehold that these mid-quarterbacks have on franchises? Is that how much of a barrel that these quarterbacks have teams bent over that Daniel Jones is going on an open market market representing himself, basically. He just got a new agency last week, and he's getting paid 40 M's a year. That is fucking blasphemous, as Stephen A. Smith would say. You killed it. Thank you. You actually killed that blasphemous. That is blasphemous. I, everything, listen, I, I've been saying this for two years. Two years I've been saying this. Yes. I, I, I don't, I'm not freaking out. I've foreseen this. I've wanted a, a quarterback almost every fucking step of the way. Y'all see, I don't speak easy sports. Hung. We need to get you a, a globe or one of those little orbs. <laughs> the microphone could be it. Looking to see the future with the Wilbur Heavyweights. Jared Goff will request $45 million a year. And this is everything I've been telling you guys. Shout out to our caller yesterday. Mm-hmm. Forget his name. Uh, he called Ryan. in. Ryan had a good call. No, it, it was the last guy right before the show Kyle. ended. There was a Chris. Kyle. I don't know. I, I'm not yeah, going to. We know you know there was a Chris. Chris, his name was. You're so full of yourself. But he called in, and he was like, "Jared Jer- Goff isn't, isn't a greedy guy. <laughs> He'll take 25 million. You think Jared Goff's going to take 20 million under what Daniel Jones is getting paid? I don't care if you're greedy. If you do that, you're a fucking idiot. Yep. Flat out. Yep. This is a business. I understand you want to win Super Bowls. I understand you want a good team around you. You already got paid. You already made it there once. You like the city. You like Detroit. You're a nice guy. Until your agent walks up to you and says, we're going for 50 M's a year. And then you say, fuck all you guys. I'm going to go get paid $50 million. Because it's going to be closer to 50 than it is to 40. I can promise you that. Again, approaching the wrong side of 30 along with it. Uh, we Middle of the road talent. Yes. To give a fuck about what he did last year. I understand. I've seen it. And, I, and I've you know conceded that being a, a top 10 performance. But if you look at the resume, since 2017, the second most turnovers in the entire fucking league. What's more indicative of what Jared Goff is? The one year with Ben Johnson, by the way, because yeah. we saw him without Ben Johnson. It was more of the, 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 the turnover ratio. Yeah. Guy, who, you know, mind you, Ben Johnson's more than likely going to leave within the next two years. More than likely, probably next year. You're going to commit forty-five plus million dollars to to that? Nah. Approaching thirty? Nah. And over? Nah. You're not. You're, you're not. not. You're not. And I tell you, that's why you go and visit Anthony Richardson six times. I tell you, that's why you're kind of sick to your fucking stomach that he's catching all this hype and he maybe get taken before you. Shit, bro. I, at this point, and I told this to Booner. And, I, and I've been like kind of like reserved about this one, and I may have even said on this show, and I, maybe I said it this morning too, but like, I'm even fucking looking at Will Levis, and that's the I, guy. I'm looking at anybody. Yeah, because here's the I'll thing too. I'll draft Clayton Tune sixth overall if it means I don't got to pay Jared Goff forty five million dollars for five seasons. Because here's the thing too is like, okay, Will Levis might not be Patrick Mahomes. Will Levis might not be Justin Herbert, but Will Levis, where well, I think he at least at the very least can be, it's Jared Goff. Yes, and you have a Ben Johnson. And you have, you have Ben Johnson's guy, Tanner Estran. Yeah. Where can we need this protege, if you will? Maybe become the offensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions, or wherever Ben Johnson goes. Like, you can, as disrespectful as it sounds, and I don't mean to sound this way, what Jared Goff offers you on the football field is easily replaceable. Matter of fact, these, these younger guys coming in, all of them are mobile. There's, there's the, the knock on CJ Stroud was that he wasn't, but he, that, that tune's changed a little bit. you got to... That's the way the NFL is working. It's not just Detroit. It's not a Jared Goff thing. Look at the fucking playoff bracket from last year. Mm-hmm. Look at the list of Super Bowl champions. It's these team-friendly deals and or rookie deals. This is how the league is going. Matter of fact, there's guys in the NFLPA talking about possibly making its own own salary cap for the quarterback. Yeah. Because it's getting that much out of hand. Daniel Jones getting $40 million is another example of that, too. It's, it, it could be its own uh, separate from like affecting the team salary cap. Yes. You got to draft a rookie. You have to. Hey, uh, B- Bob's big boy's yelling at us in the Woodward Sports chat. Golf is under contract. Correct. Oh, 
Oh, no shit, Bob. Well, guess what? For two more years. Mm -hmm. So that's next year and the year after that. So if you don't draft somebody this year, you're drafting a rookie, and then you're just letting Goff walk after his final season, a smarter thing to do would be to draft a rookie this year, let him sit for a year, trade Goff on the last year of his deal. It's I love it, too. I've been called bad take easy or whatever the fuck else garbage you want to put on. What's coming to fruition? Before your very fucking eyes. What what are the exact reasons Dan Campbell told you why they're looking at drafting a quarterback? Because golf bought us time. Every fucking single thing I've told you for the past two years. But you guys don't want to take his dick out of your mouths. It's happening. And um, Bob's big boy's rebuttal was Bob's franchise him in 2025. Oh, no. So you want to pay him 50 plus million dollars for a single year. Mm-hmm. Because that's what it's going to be. The franchise tag right now is $50 million. By the way, Jared Goff, another uh, sit sit product. Only started seven games his rookie year. Yeah. Sat the first, what, eight at that point? I... <sighs> what? I didn't want it to come to this. I didn't want to do this. But oh. I'm in camp. Draft quarterback now. I'm on the dark side. Because I just feel like if it is the bridge, if he truly is a bridge, if he is buying you extra time, well, that time's running up after you see those three guys get those three contracts. And again, I'm talking Geno Smith, $35 million a year. Derek Carr, aging Derek Carr, who got cut. $37.5 $37.5 million a year. And Daniel Jones, Eli's stupid little brother, $40 million a year. My, uh, my tip is scarce.